Welcome back, guys. Good to see you, you, not you. Bit sketchy. Don't know why you were here. But either way, my name's Dom. I'm the Chief Tech. We've got a restoration video for you today. We've got a yellow Game Boy Pocket that needs a bit of love. New screen, bit of cleanup. Let's just get into this. So today what we're going to be looking at is the Game Boy Pocket. It's a bit worse for wear. It's got a bit of sun damage. And it probably is a bit manky inside. Bought this on eBay for about £10. Right, so first thing we're going to have to do, take out the batteries. You should go now. Run. No, I won't leave you here. We can run together. Listen, if we run together, they will shoot us from behind. We both die. So, how's it about you here? They will kill you. No, don't worry about me. I will help them. I want you to promise me to survive. To take this message for our country. Right, so once all the screws are out from the case itself, take off the outer shell, set that aside. Closer inspection, it all seems quite nice inside, there's no water damage of what I can see. Everything seems fine, it's just that dodgy screen. Right, so we've got three screws here on the motherboard that holds that on. Once you get them three screws out, you should be able to take this up and then free the ribbon cable for the screen here. Right, to remove the ribbon cable, you have to just undo these two latches here. One I've already done slightly already. And it should wiggle free. Be very careful with these because if you damage them, that's it. Right, so now we've got Not too bad, dirt wise. Was expecting dirt here. Right, so all we need to do now is give it a little twist with the case, and that should free up the screen. Be very gentle. Don't want to damage anything. So there's the old screen which has the damage to it. As you can see there it's got some weird markings on it as well. Right, so now we should be able to remove this glass as well. So give that a little twist and then push from the inside very gently. And do it very gently push and there's your screen at this point it's going to give it a quick clean make sure it looks impressive again clean all the buttons up so it's not too bad in here it does but it looks like it hasn't got much use or it's been cleaned before Cleaning these pads is very important because that's what makes the contact and actually presses the button and activates whatever you need to do with it. So these are very important. Any keen eyes out there would have noticed that these buttons were missing. So they were quite sticky as well. As for the motherboard, it does look fine. 
can't see any difference and it was working so I won't really do much with this give it a clean that's about it good thing with the speaker as well make sure that's clean because otherwise that will affect the sound coming out any debris or dust in that will cause issues make sure you get either IPA or what I'm going to use is contact cleaner inside these wheels and ports as well Clean the buttons, clean the motherboard. now after all that all the flux is gone all I can see anyway it's all nice and clean the great thing about WD-40 specialist fast drying contact cleaner is it's fast drying it, it leaves no residue apparently I've been using it for ages and it's excellent I'm not endorsed by it by the way I just, just love the product all right so I'm just gonna give these a bit of a clean
little pro tip with this is if you go counterclockwise and let it re-go into its old thread you won't destroy the case because these are self-tapping screws all that means is they make their own thread in the case so they don't come machined or come with a thread already inside the case so what you need to do is go counterclockwise and you see a little click so if you go counterclockwise counterclockwise you hear a little click or feel a little click then you can turn it, do it up Okay, there we have it. The case is nice and clean now. We need to put all the components back in, but before we do that, we need to get the screen that I removed from one of my first videos back into this one. So the screen I removed from the old one was actually not bad. It was just me upgrading it to a LCD screen. So this one here, is the one I'm going to be putting in and as you can see with the old one there's no sun damage on this one okay we're going to put the lens in now which I've just dusted make sure there's no debris inside of it Right, so we've got the directional pad and the buttons in. We've got the ribbon cable in. We've got the power switch lined up. So we need to put a few screws in to secure the pup motherboard now.
can do is put some batteries in it, put a game in it, and see how the screen looks. Or even if it works. So we're going to use Pokemon Red. Maybe this one needs a bit of a clean as well, this cartridge. And what we're going to do is to clean the cartridge and the shell a bit. Take it in, take it out, put it in, put it out. Let that contact cleaner dry out. <coughs> Everything seems to be working. Hmm, all good. Welcome back. We're in the garden. Yeah, I thought it'd be really nice to sit outside for a bit, have a coffee. But that's until the weather starts changing over there, so I've got only a minute to do this video, but oh well. I'm going to be doing a bit more. Um, I don't know how to put this a bit more vlogging I suppose for when we get back to work so when we get back into the building you're gonna see us what we do as uh, pin spot technicians in a bowl so you're gonna see how we're gonna kick start it hopefully a bit of the, the work that goes into it I'm going into a little bit blind I've, we've got a plan as a company plan I've not really seen it yet but um, there will be a plan in place to get us Get the ball rolling. Oh, pardon me, but we'll get the ball rolling properly, and we get the machines back into order. We, it's such a shame. Before lockdown, the machines were running so well, and they were perfectly clean. And most people do say this about the machines. All oh, my machines are the best and lovely and clean. But honestly, so gutting. I'm gonna have to do a bit of um, emergency light work as well because they haven't been tested, or some of them might not even been charging for the past three months because. The way we lock down the building, some of the electrics need to be cut off. So there's going to be a bit of electrical, there's going to be a bit of um, machine maintenance, there's going to be a bit of a kick start of getting the maintenance back to where it should be. I'd, I've never seen machines sit for longer than a couple of days, so seeing them sit for three months, that should be interesting. Um, uh, well, I say interesting, it's going to be a bit of work, but it is what it is. Um, how is everyone finding furlough? Is it, would everyone prefer this lifestyle? Well, I personally wouldn't, but each their own. I like to be busy, having being locked inside the house basically with no real purpose for three months is a bit grinding. But it's been quite nice getting, getting uh, it's been quite nice um, seeing the misses a bit more and yeah, it's. Uh, indifferent but I can't wait to get back hopefully next month be back in the building seeing what's what seeing what needs to be done get back into that fast paced get things done lifestyle it's been nice to relax though first time in what eight or nine years I've had some proper time off I normally don't take that much holiday I mean I might take the odd week every year just to have a holiday with the missus or something along those lines but 
normally I don't really take much time off and that's a bit of a negative on my part I should really take more time off but I like to be fast paced and keep up with the pace I don't like leaving things so for a week if I leave the bowl for a week I personally will see that as two weeks work when I come back just to kick start and also you, everyone goes through it when you come back from holiday you've got that week or so where you've still got the holiday sort of blues or well you're missing a holiday basically well anyway um, I'll hopefully be making more of them videos hopefully they'll be interesting to you guys and just let me know if you'll be more interested until then yeah be good to each other I'll see you later Thanks for watching guys, if you liked this video, check out my other ones, like, comment, subscribe, all that other stuff, and I'll see you soon.